Today we discuss about a Bessel function. Bessel function is a special function that we have to study. It is represented by j n of x. Okay, j n of x. So this is the Bessel function. It is the solution of second order uh, differential equation. Bessel equation x square d square y by dx square plus x dy by dx plus x square minus n square y equal to 0. This is the Bessel equation and uh, Jn of x is the solution and uh, it is Jn of x is equal to sigma r equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power r over r factorial n plus r factorial x by 2 to the power n plus 2r. Okay, so this is the Jn of x. This can be written in another form like this. Jn of x equal to sigma r equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power r, r factorial instead of this uh, n plus r factorial, n plus r factorial that is equal to gamma n plus r plus 1. Okay, so one can write this as uh, uh, this form. Here the thing is we wrote the, this factorial in terms of the gamma function. Okay. And uh, uh, we can write uh, the general form uh, like this. Since we are summing over r, r is the summation variable. So we put r equal to 0. So you get this term and then uh, this term by gamma n plus 1 into x by 2 to the power n. And uh, when you uh, take x by 2 to the power n, 1 over gamma n plus 1 is common factor, we will be getting this series here. And this can be used for finding the values of the uh, Bessel functions uh, for the different values of n. Okay. For example, if you find the value j half x, Using that, uh, we can show it is equal to root 2 pi x, root 2 by pi x sin x. And we can show uh, j minus half x as equal to root 2 over pi x cos x. Okay, so we just use that uh, uh, expansion and we can prove that that is left as an exercise. Anyway, if uh, we need j0 of x, for getting j0 of x, we put n equal to 0. So you get j0 of x. This is your j0 of x. Okay. And you can find j1 of x when you put n equal to 1. j1 of x. That is equal to x by 2 this. Okay. Anyway, uh, these j0 and j1, if you try to plot, then you can see uh, you are plotting it against x. Okay, you are taking Jn of x here. So Jn of x is taken along the y-axis. X along x is taken along x-axis. So the J0 of x is this. This is how J0 of x varies. So oscillatory Jn of x is like this. And it has uh, a varying period and uh, the amplitude steadily decreases. You can see the amplitude steadily uh, decreasing, the decreasing amplitude. Okay. So uh, that, uh, that is how you get if you plot J0x and J1 of x. Now we prove important property with regard to the Bessel function. It is this. Uh, 
the j minus n of x equal to minus 1 to the power n j n x where n is a positive integer okay n is a positive j minus n of x is equal to minus 1 to the power n j n of x and j minus n of x uh, as per our definition j minus n of x you get by putting n equal to minus n so here you put n equal to minus n here also you put n equal to minus n so this is our j minus n of x okay and that is uh, equal to sigma r equal to 0 to n minus 1 this term plus sigma r equal to n to r equal to infinity this term okay okay so sigma r equal to 0 to n minus 1 and sigma r equal to n to infinity here it is n to infinity we are separately writing this the same the summation r equal to 0 to infinity that is written as two summations r equal to 0 to n minus 1 and r equal to n to infinity why we are writing as two summations because here since uh, we are taking r equal to 0 to n minus 1 here you will have gamma of uh, either gamma 0 or gamma of a negative quantity here okay gamma 0 or gamma of a negative quantity here gamma 0 or gamma of negative integer that is infinity okay gamma 0 gamma of a negative integer that is uh, infinity um, and uh, the, this will be 0 this term will be equal to 0 so when you put r equal to 0 to n minus 1 this will be gamma 0 gamma minus negative integer that will be infinity and this term will be 0 okay and this is sigma r equal to n to infinity so we will be left with this only this term okay r equal to n to infinity now uh, we put r equal to n plus k we put r equal to n plus k so when r equal to n k equal to 0 and when r equal to infinity k equal to infinity okay so we have the summation variable k k changes from 0 to infinity and here we have minus 1 to the power n plus k x by 2 to the power minus n plus 2n plus k here n plus k and we have we will get this uh, as uh, uh, gamma uh, minus n plus n plus k plus 1 that is equal to gamma k plus 1 and gamma k plus 1 we know that is k factor okay the k factorial so that is written here and this n plus k factorial that is gamma n plus k plus 1 that is written here okay so uh, we have this uh, minus 1 to the power n here minus 1 to the power k anyway this is minus 1 to the power n j n of x see we started from where we started from the definition of j minus n of x and what we got is uh, minus 1 to the power uh, j n of x okay minus 1 to the power n j n of x okay so this is an important property of the uh, uh, Bessel function j minus n x is equal to minus 1 to the power n j n of x. This shows uh, j minus n of x and j n of x are linearly dependent. They are linearly 
dependent okay or they are not linearly independent okay so that we get here 